Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for Game Week 6 where I'm going to show you what my plans are for my team. But before we do that, let's first see who's done well in the Mini League for Game Week 5. The top score in our league was managed by Carl Edmonds Watt with Nkun Cucumber. There you go, a bit of a mouthful I guess a cucumber could be. With 87, that was with Alexander Arnold on 11, Captain Salah 12, Rogers 10, Haaland 9, Henderson 9, finally got some points, Konza 9, finally got some points, Smithrow 8, Wood 8, Gabriel 7. So a very good score all over the place there. And then nothing on the bench. And 87 was also managed by Ezra William with Turkish Delip with 87 points. How was that managed? That was with Captain Haaland 18, Trent got 11, Rogers 10, Konza and Henderson both got 9, Smithrow and Wood both got 8, Palmer got 8 and Saka 4. So very good there. And look at that, nothing on the bench. Very nice. And we have a new leader for our league. That's Magnus Munro with Barney Rubbles with 86 points. They're currently on 403. That was with Captain Salah 12, Trent got 11, Barnes and Rogers got 10, Haaland 9, Embremo and Wood got 8, Robertson 6, and Mazaru got 6. And that's all. And then once again on the bench, nothing. As for me, I'm all the way down in 223rd. I got 82 points. That was with Captain Harlan 18, Diaz 16, Trent 11, Smithrow 8, and Bremo 8, Robertson 6, Watkins 6. And then nothing on my bench. So 82 points, but I did take an 8-point hit, so it's really like 74 points. But that was still enough to give me a green arrow. I was expecting red arrows right up to game week 7 or 8 because I'm taking hits, so that was nice to get a green. I'm currently 122 points behind top spot, and with 33 weeks left, if I can outscore whoever's top by 4 points a week, I can still win the whole thing. So that'd be quite nice. That sounds doable, doesn't it, 4 points? Thank you very much to everyone who watches these videos and subscribes, likes, leave comments. Very much appreciated, especially the watching. So this season, what I thought I'd try and do is chase money for the first six game weeks and then I'll go very template and I'm going to try and get the rankings. And there's a website, FPL Game Week, where you can look at the Content Creators League and where you'd appear on it. And I'll try and make sure there's a link in the description to FPL Game Week. I'm not affiliated, but I like the site. So at the moment, regarding the money, I'm the richest of all the content creators. I've got 101.9 million. The next best is 101.7 Harry's in 5th place, but he's with 101.3. This is as of the beginning of game week 5. Of course, prices have changed a bit since then. So again, game week 5, I had 101.9, and the average content creator was 100.7. So I was 1.2 million richer than them. My points were 333, and the average was 341. So I'm 8 points behind the average, but 1.2 million ahead regarding money. And I think... Eight points is totally worth 1.2 million. As of today, which is Wednesday, I think. No, it's Thursday. As of Thursday, I'm currently worth 102.2 million. As so that's going to go up a little bit, hopefully, before the end of game week six, which is what this experiment is all about. With the Content Creators League looking at the scores, Ash from FPL Juice is on 391. And there are several in our league that's higher than that at the moment. But well done, Ash. Harry's there, he often features because he does well. He's on 372. I'm all the way down in 46th with 333, which is one point behind Oscar FPL Focal and one point ahead of Holly. You may recognise those two. So I've made three transfers so far this week. I only had one free transfer, so that's a minus eight. I took out Robinson, Mitama and Vardy and I've brought in Gabriel Rogers at last. Now he's going to start getting some points hopefully. And Jackson. So this is all about money. I was doing this for financial reasons. Uh, and we need to see how it goes. But hopefully it'll be all right. <laughs> we'll see. I've only got one Arsenal player there. And that's Gabriel. So I know I may be a bit lacking there compared to other people. So this is how my team's lining up for game week six at the moment. I have Haaland away to Newcastle as captain. Newcastle have been quite poor so far this season. Haaland's been quite rich when it comes to points. So hopefully I get something decent there. Then I've got his mate Edison in goal. I was very close to switching Edison for Raya because I know loads of people will have Raya. 
and I didn't do it because the prices weren't changing and now it looks like Rare may be injured so that could have been a lucky escape for me. And then I've got Embremo as vice captain, Brentford are at home to West Ham, Gabriel's at home to Leicester, Jackson's at home to Brighton, then I've got Robertson with his mates Trent and Luis Diaz away to Wolves, I've got Rogers away to Ipswich, Watkins away to Ipswich, that's nice, and then Smithrow away to Nottingham Frost, so I've got a lot of away players this week. As for the bench, I got Ramsdale away to Bournemouth, Lewis away to Newcastle, McNeil at home to Palace, and then Bednarak away to Bournemouth. I'm very moderately close to switching Lewis with Robertson. I think Robertson's got more chance of getting more minutes. He's got more chance of a clean sheet. But if Lewis gets a decent, decent amount of minutes, I think he's got more chance of getting an attacking return. So I'm not decided on those two yet. But I think the rest I'm pretty settled on. As for the background image, this week is the 30th wedding anniversary of me and my wife. And that's approximately what my wife looks like. If anyone knows her, that's pretty close. I think you'd agree. So there we have it. That's what happened in game week five, what my plans are for game week six, and approximately what my wife looks like now, who doesn't watch these videos, so I can say anything I want to. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>